Our second day on the island approached, and as daytime turned to night, we lit a fire to keep ourselves warm, and I woke up in a bare tent, ready for the next day. Uh, How do I put this mic on? Ah, uh, hold on. Can you hold that for me, Lewis? Um, worst night ever. I'm literally like sweating. Where's Dave? Is it where is he? He's there. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I love Dave, you. What, what are you doing? You look pretty what? smelly, mate. What is that? Well, I, I might have snuck one more thing onto the island. What are you wearing? Daz Games, bit more Dave merch! <laughs> Check it out! By Sammy. Check him out, but look at that! How long have you been awake? Oh, like an hour, an hour and a half. <laughs> I love me the morning. Wow. Right, I guess we'll know what we're wearing. I mean, I'll be grateful to get out of this shirt. Get a close up of the shirt, Lewis. <laughs> this is like just over two days worth of jungle, sweat, ocean, blood, monkey piss, blood, blood. I got, I got, I got, I got some blood going on over here. A little bit of mud going on there. How are you not tired? I, I, I'm delirious. <laughs> Oh, if you want some merch, by the way, check the link in the video description. I uh, have it set up there, a bit more merch. I um, believe you did merch. Yeah, you get pillows, you can get, I think you can get water bottles, shirts, hoodies. Do some I'll, bobbing. i put this on. <laughs> but first, I think like we should like, same routine. Let's get some food, fish. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty fucking hungry. Yeah, I'm really hungry. <laughs> um, let's just, uh, did we catch any water? Like, cause it rained in the, on the I haven't checked that night. yet, I haven't checked that yet, to be fair. All right, you go. <laughs> Get us some water. I'm going to set up the rod. First, I'm going to have an island bath. And if you don't know what that is, I'm about to show you. Uh... After my salty island bath, we had to think of new ways to hunt for food. So I decided that I was going to swim around the coast of the island and spearfish. But first, I'd have to make a spear. So, as the tide is low, I can't use my lures anywhere on the island because it's going to snag. So I am a spear using my knife and Dave's duct tape and I'm going to try and spear a crab without exerting too much energy so let's do that I've never done this before never thought I'd have to be honest Harder than it looks. Shit. I feel like we're getting somewhere. Somewhere out there. My girlfriend is watching this and thinking I picked him. That was my choice. I should sell these on the merch store when I get back. I'm just like. In the first day, we we went through a jungle, down a waterfall, swam across that bay, went through that jungle. I'm struggling to remember what we did. Set up fishing. We did a lot in the first day with barely any rest. And I've, I've just woken up today. And my energy is... Terrible. You are not going to get that knife back off of there, are you? It's alright, isn't it? Whoa! Whoa! If you were a crab, Lewis, I'd eat you. The tide was coming in, and I had a small window to safely swim around the island and avoid the strong currents that would pull me. 
All right. Try and uh, not exert any energy whilst I'm doing so. I might try over near the rocks. There might be some crabs in the rock pools. Oh man, I'm really, really hungry. Just be very careful what I tread on. There are poisonous things in this ocean. I think I'm gonna have to go deeper because I'm not getting anything here. Whilst Daz was searching for food, I decided to do something else in the ocean. All right, so while Daz is um, fishing for crabs and everything, it's probably time that we talked about the delicate nature that is number two. You know, as, as blokes, we can kind of go in the bush and everything, but to be honest with you, there ain't a lot of facilities on a deserted island. And, well, fish go in the sea all the time, so it's time to, it's time to go to, nature. And that, oh my friends, is the unpleasant nature of nature. Hi, <laughs> right, I'm hungry. I was glad I wasn't swimming near Dave, and whilst I was on my quest, I stumbled upon something. Can't find anything. I can keep looking. no idea what could be hiding in here so I just have to be careful so uh, as you can see I've, uh, I've actually found an island cave just sat here it's um it's pretty remarkable actually because we know people have been here before on the other side of the island at camp too but this is just washed up debris. <sighs> insane. Absolutely insane. There's no food in here though, so I'm just gonna keep swimming around the island and see if I can maybe find a nice fat lobster would be great. All these rocks are just sharp, jagged, crazy rocks that you just don't wanna slip on. Whilst my search was turning up with no extra food, I was still confident I could get fish. Before I came back, Dave had been busy. Much like in the games, whilst I was away, Dave was starting to construct a base. And then we'll have a little home away from home. So yeah, me and Lewis, back at it again! Our camp and shelter were coming along nicely. I wanted to make it a little home away from home. But while I was busy, Daz had a quiet moment to himself. Um, nothing, absolutely nothing. I might um, just check if base camp two is okay and then just swim back round. Um, and when the tide comes in, try and catch more fish. The fish was very filling that we ate, but um, my energy is quite low right now. This is uh, this is tough. Um, starting to feel a bit alone. Right? It's crazy. It's crazy. I started to make my way back, not knowing the surprise that Dave had for me. And as I made it back to land, I found him a surprise. No fish! 
And I got a coconut. Nice. Water and food. So uh let's go see the camp. We had I brought you a gift. I know, you told me on the radio, I was so excited. Look at that, it's a proper coconut. Proper one. A proper coconut. Yeah. Is there a coconut tree where we may find more of these? Uh, this was the only one there, but I don't know how old it is, but I guess we'll find out when we open and it. When we open it, if it stinks, it's bad. If it doesn't stink, then it's it really may cool. also still be bad, but we, we will eat. find out tomorrow morning. <laughs> Check this out, we've got to see the reaction, because it is that good. Yeah, baby. Oh yeah! What have you done? I won't pretend to take all the credit because uh, it was kind of joint between me and Lewis a little bit. He did the knots and the, st and the, and the stuff here, but we got the fire, we got the seating arrangement. Right, um, I'm going to try and open this coconut. And as you can see already, like Mr. Dave, yes. you just hack this off and this is more fire material. And not only that, it's water and it's food. It's a free in one. It's almost like the Galapagos tortoise. Gives you water, gives you food, gives you something hard to use later on. We don't have tortoises, but we have coconut. We, it's very true. Oh, okay. I think I'm through. Are you through? I think I'm through. Uh, I wouldn't do that with your fingers. Ooh. Oh, you're a braver man <sighs> than me. You are a braver man than me, my friend. You can hear all the comments at home going, why is he opening it like that? I was literally about to say, for everybody watching at home, come here and do it yourself. <laughs> I can almost see the coconut inside. Isn't that supposed to be green inside this? So this is only the first layer, right? I think so. Nice. All this, when it's dry, you just strip it and you can just get endless fires going. It's, it's amazing. Um, so I was like, I'm going to wear this no matter what but already the salt is eroding the rubber off the side. Look at that, it's just peeling away. Just keep filming. What's the worst that can happen? You change battery? Oh God, Daz. Daz, nah, man. Daz. Daz. You're gonna slice your fucking... Nah, don't do it. Or somebody else that you can't Actually, do. Actually, I know what I can do, I'm being stupid. <coughs> You're about to sit on it. <laughs> All right, we're getting into the coconut shell now. I'm starting to see some white. Look at that. That's coconut. That is pure white coconut. That is actually coconut. Yeah. I'm going to try and make a hole and see if I, I wish like... we could just bash it twice with a rock, like in Stranded Deep, and we could get in. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. Go on, then. Go on. You have the first. Go on. Have a little bit. Have a nibble. It's fresh. It is fresh. You can see fluid, there's white fluid. Look, 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 there's fluid. Oh, look at it. oh, there's loads of it. There's loads. First coconut. Mm. Dave, it's actually fresh as well. Is it actually fresh? Dave, have some. Oh my God. Oh my God. And that's, that's going to feed us. Mate, that is, that is actually baller. So right. tries, it's actually fresh, it's fine to drink, I've chested. Oh. Yes. Mm. Actually delicious, I did spill most of it down my front. Yeah, it's quite a hard pour. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess uh, I'm gonna hack the rest of this up. Oh, there's milk in there. We need more coconuts. That was a lot of water in there. It tastes so good. It's so refreshing. It's so sweet. We need more of these. More of that. Fire, food, and water in one little nut. And there's a lot of meat on this. <laughs> <laughs> Finish the rest of the water. Fuck. You prude. <laughs> my nut. I will have the last of you. Drink my nut, your Dave. Juicy white nut. Go on. <laughs> I might, I might already be having island fever. I, I think, like, I think, you, I think you're just being Dave, if I'm honest. Yeah, drink it, that's it. Mm. Oh. I can't believe how refreshing that is. I can't believe how sweet it is. It's literally like liquid bounty. Hang on, hang on, I got the resort there. Okay, right, go on, Lewis. <laughs> put most of it down myself. It put, what, what do you think? It's beautiful, isn't it? Coconut. It's coconut, and that it's just amazing. fresh. More importantly, 
we also need the stuff for the fire. But we got fire stuff ready. Fire King. We need Fire King again. I will wash my face in the water. Where's my knife, Dave. I'll put it there. Pass it to me. After dissecting a coconut, we realized that they may be our savior in times of need. And as the night was fast approaching, we got another fire going and got the chance to sit down and reflect on the trip so far. Still don't really, um, we're supposed to, we're supposed to do an outro. <laughs> yeah, I was supposed to say something funny, but I, you know, I'm exhausted. This, this is officially night two. Um, I'm so burnt. All I've eaten is a coconut. I have a question. Yes. What's the first thing you're going to do when you get back to land? Call Grace. Yeah. I miss her more than anything else. I'm so. going to call my girlfriend as well and my daughter. Is uh, island fever just sets in when you're you don't have a couch, you don't have a telly. This Two, is tough. Days, like, this, this like is this is tough. Like I thought we'd be sat around the fire, laughing, cracking jokes, Daz and Dave, but it's not a game, is it? I'm just everything hurts. I'm burnt. The burn is is bad. I'm barely hydrated. We got some more coconuts down here. We'll drink one before bed, I guess, and then tomorrow we'll just try and find yeah, we're more. We're just gonna farm like as many as get we as can many have. coconuts as we can. That's the easiest thing because I'm just not catching fish. But, yeah, I think tomorrow we should start work on that raft and get the hell off this island because, um, well, I think you know anyone wants to try this for real like we have. Um, go ahead, it's not. It's not I want to get off this island. I ain't lasting. Tomorrow, I ain't lasting two weeks. We build the raft. We at least get all the bits that we can need to assemble it. We start it. building the raft. There. Coconuts, when it is high tide, give Coconuts. fishing a go. Yeah, I'll try fishing again. At, hi at high tide, give it a go. I give it a go. But what we need is to collect as many plastic bottles and just tape them together for buoyancy. Well, hopefully in uh, base two, because I'll be damned if I'm going through that jungle at night to okay. go see. But hopefully it's going to rain tonight, hopefully, so we'll have some water catch, catch in those catches. So. Tomorrow. We build the raft. We start building the raft. I love you, by the way. <laughs> You're all right. <laughs> I'm all right. Thanks, You're man. Right. <laughs> uh, I, I, I love you too. <laughs> Myself and Daz had a discussion, and we had decided enough was enough. Tomorrow was the time to start building the raft. He was pleased about this. Civilization! Um, Dave's gone for a poo somewhere. I told him not to. It's it literally it's pitch black. Lewis, pan out there. See, can you see anything? Wait. No, I can just see the beach. It's you can't see it. Anyway. Fire um, has died down. We're just gonna roll in for the night. Um, and uh, we'll see you in the morning. Yeah. You got it. You gotta find Dave after this. Shitting. Ah! Use this. Ah! Screw it, I'm leaving him there. If a monkey wants him, he can have him. Sand in here. Ah! Scratches everywhere. Alright. Dave, hurry up! Awful, but this is the um, most uncomfortable night's sleep I've ever had in my life. After another uncomfortable night lying on sand, we were greeted with a wet morning and were starting to get into the flow of things. Dave was coming back from base two with some raft gear. Never doing that again. I'm done with that base. Yeah? Yeah, that base is done. I ain't doing that base. I'm getting to it. It's either jungle or swim. <laughs> you know, however, have lobster shorts and cable ties. Use my belt to build some of the raft. Oh my god. Oh, I've been in the sea. 
is oh, so much harder on land. There's gravity on land. <laughs> There's gravity in the sea as well, I know. I'm ready for this to be over. I'm, <laughs> I'm ready for this to be fucking over. I'm on, baby. I'm on. He's trying to go around the rocks. I can't let him. Uh, yeah, come on. I think it's another needlefish. Yeah, it is. Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh, oh, Jesus. So powerful. I got it. Okay. Uh, uh, I gotta kill it. Uh, gotta kill it quick before it bites me. Uh, uh, yeah, that's even bigger than the last one. He's going in there. It might be a bit bloody, but I've got no other choice. Jesus. Daz! Dave! I found coconuts and wood. For the raft? And I got the cable ties back. Got the cable ties. And I burnt my ears quite badly, actually. Dave, um, as you also found food, it would be very rude of me. No, to you got fish? Food. You got fish? Not only did I catch fish, Dave. Lobster? Crab? I only caught one. Pamela Anderson? I wish. Well, actually, I don't. <laughs> but... <laughs> it's even bigger than the first one. Oh! oh! Dude, it's a triple. <laughs> yeah, I got it jumping out of the water for the last one, but this one, much bigger than the first. Let's, uh, we got some food. How many coconuts did you get? Four ish. Four. Might be, they might, well, some of them might be a bit off, you know what I mean? Well, let's see. Uh, let's, yeah, uh, yeah, that's so plenty. Get a fire going, then let's crack on building this raft. Oh, well, before we do anything, you need to come see the wood. Let me see your wood. I cut. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, very tired now, um, but we're gonna try and get through this. So the design, I feel, three bits of wood, about five foot across, and start laying wood beams across, stuff like this. started building the raft that would float us back to civilization. Island life consists of routine, and we were getting pretty good at it. We would wake each morning, eat, fish, and build. That was our routine, and once in a while, we would take a break from the craziness that was our surroundings and just enjoy nature at its most raw. Yeah. Look at all the drops. Yeah. Woo! Come on! <laughs> <laughs> well, it is uh, technically end of monsoon season. And when we've built that raft, we're going to float across here to the abandoned hotel. We're coming for you, hotel. We're coming. Doritos. <laughs> Do you know what? I want a pina colada. I want a pina colada. I want a pina salada. Do you remember that college humor one? I want a pina colada. Yeah, I That's what I want. I want a pina colada. In a few days, Dave, we're going to land on that beach and it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be beautiful. Do you know what would be more beautiful? A bed and a shower. A bed. There isn't this kind of shower. I, one I, with soap. I don't know better. A cold 
pint of Foster's. Oh, no, pina colada. Pina colada, I want a pina colada. I don't care, I want my pina colada. I want it. Sirloin steak, Dave. Oh, please. <laughs> Sirloin, sirloin steak. Sirloin steak. Sweet and sour. Sauce. Sweet and sour chicken. Sweet and sour chicken. Yeah. Sweet and sour fish. Sweet and sour anything. You dipped yeah. in sweet and sour <laughs> sauce. <laughs> You're in barbecue sauce. Oh. This Still is surface. it. This is it. We're going to do it. We're going to build the raft. The We're raft so will be ready. We're so close. Moments like this were far and few between, however. Dehydration and sunburn had started to take its toll on our relationship. Okay, you can take the. Also, I, I don't think I can take the sun anymore. I'm gonna have to like try and. You do, man. Get some mud on me or something. Do you want to roll in some mud with me? Roll in mud. Well, yeah, cause like I'm I'm burning to death, and I think you should put something on you. I, I heard on like Discovery that's what you're meant to do. Yeah, if you were in like the African jungle and there's like mud all around you and you can cake yourself there's like sand here no yeah, but in in the jungle if you get seawater and then splash the mud you want me to cake myself in mud i don't want you to do anything i just i'm offering if if you're if you're hot and sunburned if you want to roll in mud with me i'm not i'm not i'm not no go and roll in mud you go and do that i'm going to continue building the raft that we need to actually get off the island I want to get off the island, um, but I'm just worried about you getting hot, that was all. I don't think there was any need for that, mate. I'll be back in a minute. Oh, this, like, I don't know, sun... Sun's getting to us, I just need some shade, like, and everything has to be an anatomically correct. Like, I just want to float off the island. That's it. I don't want a five-star cruise liner, you know? When I get back there, he'll have a maid working on that ship that he's built. I love him. You know, sometimes. Found wood. Hey, Dave. Hello, Muddy. You right, mate? Sorry, man. Me too. I'm just really fucking hot, and I'm hungry, and I didn't realise how tough this would be, and um, I'm really sorry, man. All right. It'd be, I'm going to uh, try and... Uh, like, it's really clear over there. How, did the, how did the mudding go? Mudding went good. I'll cook you some fish. How about that? <laughs> let, me go, let me open a coconut for you. You've got grey in your beard. We're getting old. Yeah, I think, I, I think the sun's bleaching my beard. <laughs> I get grey hairs at the back here. Yeah, i got grey in my balls. <laughs> you want to see it? In my gooch. <laughs> I don't see that. I don't see that, no. I'm not that sorry. <laughs> Let's have some coconuts. I'm sorry as well. I'm very sorry. I didn't mean to snap. It's, you're right, it's too hot. I love you. I love you. going. I'm going to eat this whole thing. <laughs> Even when he's so oh, fucking tired, he's still trying to make a joke. <laughs> Don't put it on yet, it's not dry. It's like we're so... I don't have anything to cook on it. After our brief argument, we had one more sleep. In the morning, we would have finished the raft. This was it. Made up of natural wood found on the island, bottles and plastic, polystyrene, anything that washed up. It was used on the raft. The raft is finally built. I don't know what day it is. I don't care. Um, I found us a seat, Dave. Yes, this must float. We have found collectively, yeah, easily, we found more plastic than uh, that is inside of the entirety of the Kardashian family. <laughs>
and we're going to take it off the island and we're going to recycle it. Now, it's it's only a little bit of plastic in, um, in speculation, but it's uh, it's something. Oh, oh this is heavy. Me. Oh, hold on, I'm slipping. I'm slipping. Ah, ah. it's floating. Don't it drift away though? Oh, yes. let, let me get the seats. Floating on its own was all well and good, but how would it cope with two fat men climbing aboard? Uh, have I turned it the right way right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that's the point. All this from wood and cable ties. And plastic balls. Wait, it floats with you on it. Ah. No, 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 no. Ah. No, 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 no. Ah. It's floating! It floats! It floats! Look, it's leveling out! <laughs> Dave. <laughs> With your terrible awe. <laughs> my my awe is fucking amazing. Well, if it gets us there, I'll admit it's amazing, okay? I'm gonna get to the other side. <laughs> Tomorrow we launch and we get home. Yes. Everything was looking hopeful, but then. Oh my god! Oh! No. It's split in half. No! Start rolling, start rolling. Start rolling. I'm rolling on the GoPro, don't worry. Just get oh. me to safety. No. no! Okay, it's one log, one log. It's split? It's one log. In half? Fuck. No. Better here than out there. Imagine out there. Better here than out there. Oh, we can no. Fix we can fix this, we can fix this. Okay, so what we need. The raft had snapped in two, just as we were about to leave the next day. We made some repairs, but if it happens out in the open water, we'd be in trouble. We made the repairs and prepared for tomorrow's voyage. The raft was prepared as it could be. We would now set off across the ocean to the abandoned hotel. And if the raft broke out in the middle of the ocean, we would be in trouble. It had to make it to shore. Time they won't record yes. immediately. Let's try and get a little bit more across. It's okay. Stop paddling on the other side a second. I'm gonna turn this. Right, now resume. Whoa. Shit. Shit. Did you hear the creaking? A bottle just came up behind me. There's a hole behind me. Those ripples, man. It's easy on the game, isn't it? And to think your raft, no matter how big it was, supported all those engines. <laughs> okay, if I move to the left a little bit, then your side should raise up. No, that's what you think. Okay. There's a fucking urchin down. There's loads, Dave. Please don't I'm do anything. Moving. I'm not moving. I'm not moving. I'm backing. Back. Just, just keep rowing. I know it's uncomfortable. I was, I was talking about you sinking more than anything. Do you want me to come to you a little bit? No, not above here. Not above here. Okay. Just wait till we're in the middle of the sandy bit here. You see there's nothing here? Yeah. The progress was incredibly slow. Although this may look easy, every time we moved, the bow would enter the water and we'd have to self-correct. This meant we had to stay as still as possible. Our legs and our back had started to stay seize up I with pain. Doesn't fucking matter. I'm not, it's not a comfort thing. I'm just, I'm sinking. All right, let's go. Oh my fucking god. Okay, let's go, let's get to fucking land. Let's go. I can feel. I can feel my look. My le my look. My left. I can Oh, slow, 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 slow. Lean back. Just lean back very softly. <sighs> Halfway, Dad. Let's keep using the sticks. It's easier. And we've got some speed. Oh. What are you gonna do when you get back to land first thing? <sighs> I'm call my girlfriend and my daughter. I'm gonna call Grace. Actually, I think she's working. I'm gonna tell her it's the evening. <laughs> working. What I would give to be working right now. You know? I might throw up. I'm quite sick. feel really sick. Okay. Oh, do. fuck. Just don't lean over, I'm not leaning over. dramatically or anything. 
As slow as this looks, we were physically exhausted. Maintaining our core balance, we were almost there. We'd almost done it. We're almost there. We're almost there. We're closer to the bank than we are further away from the island. We're actually doing this. We do this. We're actually doing this. Come on. Let's go. Keep going. Oh. As Lewis helplessly watched from his cameraman boat, we were floating ever closer to the shoreline. We could taste victory. We've lost two, at least two bottles. The bottom of it is cracked. Oh, we're going in. Wait, wait, wait. We're near the end. Not now, not now, not now, please. Well, I mean, yeah. It's fine. We're fine. No, we're not. We're going in, look. Uh, I'm going. I'm going. No, I'm not. I'm not letting you pull alone. Come on, Dave. Uh, come on. What are you going to do? <laughs> Push this son of a bitch. Push her in more. Push it. So like over a year of fucking planning. <laughs> it doesn't get any better than this, mate. <laughs> Fuck. Pina colada? <laughs> <laughs> I've had enough showers on this <laughs> island. Um, what was it like? What? I a week? I don't even know. We'll check when we're back. <laughs> I can't believe it. We needed a little push at the end. This guy behind the camera. Everybody who you don't know, everybody, listen. Following us all the way through. <laughs> Setting up every shot. How difficult was that? It's all right, man. Well done, mate. I love you, Grace. I love you, Em, Sarah, and the Dazzlers, and, and my parents. Oh, We're gonna go and actually sleep in a hotel. Get back there now. I think we've waited long enough. <laughs>